Gone are the days when NASA was synonymous with space research. Rather, it's China that is growing quickly in space because it's making plans, investing money, and coming up with new ideas. China has done impressive things, like putting rovers on the hidden part of the moon and creating a space station. These achievements have made the world notice that China is about to beat NASA, which has been a leader for a while, in no time. How did China do it? What makes Chinese space exploration better than NASA? In this video, we are going to look for the answers to all these questions. China's space program is known for setting big goals and actually achieving them pretty quickly. One notable example is their Lunar Exploration Program, which they call the Chang Program. They started it back in the early 2000s when they launched a bunch of missions to the moon. They've sent stuff like orbiters, landers, and rovers, and in 2019, they made history by landing a rover called Chang on the far side of the moon. What's impressive is how fast they've done all of this. It shows that China is really good at coming up with plans and executing them. In comparison, NASA, the American Space Agency, often faces delays and money issues which stretch out their projects. NASA's had some bumps in the road, and their launch got pushed to late 2021 because of them. Now, NASA's careful approach is all about safety and reliability, but China's is all about speed and determination. They're different from most other space agencies because of their consistency and foolproof plans. China's space experts are skilled, efficient, and adaptable. They excel in fast spacecraft and rocket production, embrace innovation, and swiftly tackle challenges, enabling rapid progress in space exploration. China also knows how to use its resources wisely. They focus on what's important, like research, development, and actually getting things done. They're all about learning from each mission and using those lessons to do even better next time. But when it comes to NASA, even after having a bunch of immense talents, it often runs on gimmicks. On the flip side, China is really going all in when it comes to space exploration. It's not just about their flashy missions and notable science stuff. They've also put serious money into building up their space infrastructure. This investment has made China a big player in the space game, with all the tools and abilities it needs to reach its ambitious goals. They've even got a space station called Tiangong, where people can live in space. It's one of only two places like that in the world. So one of the major things China has been focusing on is its launch vehicles. They've got this lineup of rockets called the Long March series. Created, this investment has made China a big player in the space game, with all the tools and abilities it needs to reach its ambitious goals. They've even got a space station called Tiangong, where people can live in space. It's one of only two places like that in the world. So one of the major things China has been focusing on is its launch vehicles. They've got this lineup of rockets called the Long March series, created by the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, KSC. These rockets can do a bunch of things, from sending satellites up to low Earth orbit to launching missions with people on board, adding probes to other planets. China's enhanced launch technology reduced its dependence on external providers for space access. They're now a viable choice for global satellite launches. Moreover, China's advanced spaceports, like Wenchang on Hainan Island, support diverse missions, showcasing their commitment to comprehensive space infrastructure. But that's not all. China has been busy building up its ground-based space program, too. They've set up advanced ground stations and tracking facilities that help them stay in touch with their spacecraft in orbit and beyond. This means better communication, better remote sensing capabilities, and a stronger foundation for exploring deep space. If these are not enough, human spaceflight interests them as well. The Tianhe Space Station is their big project right now. They're expanding it even more, it's going to be a hub for research, tech development, and international cooperation. And they're not just stopping at big projects. China is all about fostering innovation and pushing technology forward. They've got these research and development spots that cover everything from designing and making spacecraft to coming up with ways to propel them and new materials to use. They're making sure they stay on the cutting edge of space technology. Most importantly, they are not doing any of these things. The China National Space Administration, CNSA, is really making an effort to get the public engaged and proud of what they're achieving in space. For example, asteroid mining is becoming quite a topic these days. Chinese space program experts, including Ye Peijian, 
are tossing around the idea of sending unmanned spacecraft to mine asteroids for precious metals like palladium and platinum. These metals are super important for the tech and car industries, and there's a chance they could rake in some serious cash. Some estimates even say that big asteroids might hold billions of dollars worth of these metals. Amazing, right? Plus, this could be a big deal for setting up bases on the moon and Mars down the road. But China isn't just stopping there. They're on a mission to protect Earth from asteroids. They're planning to launch a mission by 2026 to redirect a potentially dangerous asteroid called 2020 PN1. Like NASA's DART, China's kinetic asteroid defense mission wants to keep us safe from asteroid strikes. Their upcoming space telescope, Shuntian, is no joke either. It's like Hubble Space Telescope, but with way better resolution and a way bigger view. It's going to be a 10-year mission to take tons of pictures. Remember the excitement when China's rover Zhurong landed on Mars as part of the Tianwen-1 mission? People were all excited. China's space agency, CNSA, knows how to keep everyone in the loop with live broadcasts, press releases, and social media. This makes us all feel like we're part of the action and proud of what they're achieving. Now, here's the scoop on China's future Mars plans. They're all gearing up for Tianwen-3, a mission set for 2028. They're sending stuff to Mars, picking up samples, and bringing them back to Earth. If all goes well, it'll be the first time we get our hands on Mars stuff without actually going there. This should give us a better idea of what Mars is all about. China's even got its eyes on Mars for crewed missions, too. By 2033, they want to send humans there. And this isn't a one-time thing. They're thinking long-term with more missions and even the idea of setting up shop on Mars, living there and using its resources. To make it all happen, they're studying Mars's surface, which will be super helpful when they start sending people. As you can see, China is not only beating NASA but taking a hand in Elon Musk's dream as well. Apart from Mars, China has big plans for the outer planets also. They're working on the Tianwen Thor mission, aiming to send spacecraft to Jupiter and Uranus around 2030. One of the ships will check out Jupiter and its moons, and the other will make a longer journey to Uranus. This should teach us a lot about these far-off planets and get us ready for more exploration. China is making its rockets more eco-friendly and reusable, following in the footsteps of companies like SpaceX. This change is not only great for the planet, but it also means they can send more missions into space. They are also planning for nuclear-powered spacecraft for Moon and Mars missions, aiming to surpass NASA's lunar reactor and potentially transform space travel. Plans include nuclear-powered shuttles by 2040 and asteroid resource mining, potentially reshaping the space race. Amid these advances, peaceful cooperation remains vital. But the plot twist is that China is letting private companies join in on the adventure. Their commercial space sector is growing, and they're teaming up with business tycoons to raise sufficient funds to make all these space programs happen. That way, it not only helps the economy, but also gets more people interested in space. China's commercial space companies like iSpace, OneSpace, and LandSpace have been crucial in advancing the nation's space capabilities. They contribute to launch services, satellite deployment, and other space activities, gaining public attention and support. Partnering with these companies allows China's space program to utilize their innovations as examples of entrepreneurship and technological prowess. Engaging the public in China's space program extends beyond enthusiasm, fostering national identity and unity. It energizes education, encouraging STEM pursuits, and cultivating future scientists. It also links space exploration with real-world benefits like navigation and weather forecasting, debunking misconceptions, and emphasizing its practical relevance. So, what do you think about China's space research as compared to NASA's? Is China truly able to beat NASA and SpaceX in the realm of space exploration? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell to stay updated on the latest space developments. Thanks for watching.